and my latest movie, Miracle in East Texas, which is supposed to come out in June, but obviously mm. COVID shut down the world, um, is in that vein. True story set in 1930. Once again with John Ratzenberger, I cast John. Uh, I directed it, starred in it. Uh, Sam's in it. My wife's in it. Uh, Lou Gossett Jr.'s in it. Tyler Maine, who's a WWF guy, who's also Saber Two with an X Men, um, <laughs> is in it. And it's a one. I mean, we're kicking butt in the film festivals. We want everything from hmm. um, judges' favorite to best faith based film and everything in between. Hmm. You know, a best romantic comedy. So I love the fact they can't pigeonhole it yeah. and say that's a faith based movie. I mean, the Kendrick brothers, you know, unashamedly do just. Christian movie. Right. I don't want to just preach to the choir. They do great movies. Mm -hmm. But I want to do movies that reach outside the box because we're kind yeah. of called to harvest, right? So um, hopefully uh, this movie does get out there soon. Was what, I don't know what the options are at this point other than the drive-in movie theaters, but yeah, here we are. Streaming. And it's not the new normal. Stop <laughs> saying that. <laughs> yeah. This is it's not ever. Yeah, we cannot normalize this. Yeah, don't normalize this. Do you people want to wear a mask the rest of your lives? I'm mean, Give me a break. Some people <laughs> yeah. seem to really like their masks. They it's feel pathetic. very... They feel very uppity. Oh, my. I'll play along. Like, I put it on the store, but I refuse to buy, like, you know, the mask that matches the outfit and all that. Like, I know. I don't, oh, I don't, yeah. It's just, it's, <laughs> it's, there's something weird about it. And it's just, and it's, I, I don't know. There's plenty of proof that says it doesn't help either as much as people. It's like climate change. You got people saying it does climate change. It doesn't, ex I mean, it goes back and forth. Yeah. But yeah, we see. talked to our doctor friend about all that recently. It's kind of like it works if you're like a surgeon that yeah. doesn't touch your face. And Never touch your face, yeah. wash your hands. Yeah. And I go in and I'm like, yeah. grabbing my face and doing the whole thing. So <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah. So well, is that kind of, is that what you see as kind of the, the future for Christians making movies is not doing the faith-based like... No, because I think there's a there's a, there's a market for there's that. There's a market for, for sure, that. So market keep, for keep that, doing yeah. that. But I, I would like to do more movies that are family friendly i guess i get tired of the faith-based uh, genre and stuff like that i mean i i want i want movies that will go and touch everybody in some way make them mm -hmm. think about stuff a little bit so um we got and i've got a wonderful script so if anybody out there is burning a hole in their pocket come on seth okay. our you know. ceo seth you know what yeah, we only do the, these but you know we do movies in that, movie. in that three to four million range and people go that's a lot of money that's not yeah, never not making a movie that's catering on pirates of the caribbean people don't realize they, <laughs> they showed those movies for 250 300 million dollars <laughs> right, right. then they spent another 100 million dollars promoting them yeah you know so yeah. we don't have that kind of promotion is that, is that my choice Oh, really out of water what is Sorry, the one there we got I, brisk iced tea i'm not an iced tea guy tea. i'll have to coke. stick with coke even though i'm not a coke drinker sorry. oh yeah. sorry so it's all right we're actually moving so any day now we're moving uh, into a new place a bigger office and we'll have a we'll have a fridge we'll have all this stuff <laughs> really yeah so, yeah you gotta join us where are you moving to just, uh, just a little right ways here. away but we're getting a full our own like little building Do you guys here. all live out in this area then yeah yeah okay this is it. But where are you from? <laughs> I'm from you? Oregon originally. Oh, it's lovely up in Portland right now. Oh, you yeah. You should go up for the <laughs> <Yes>. waters. <laughs> it is. I love the wildlife. Why do they let that go on? Why are we letting these punks do they this? Feel, I think, don't you think they just feel like it makes... I think they think that as long as everything's horrible feeling on the, on the news, that that's bad for Trump. I think they're wrong, but I think they think... They're idiots. But they, why, they don't want it. Why they, they don't want to be going people, good right now. Why, right? I, what's I, amazing to me is we're letting people destroy people's businesses and, and and attack people. Yeah. And hurt people and kill people. All stuff. All to get rid of one guy, really? I mean, it's just yeah. it's weird. It's but insane. the Antifa punks, they've been doing this for a while up there now. Oh, yeah. So why do we let them do it? Why what is wrong with our governments that they're not I mean That's one thing is like on one hand, I want to see, you know, the freaking SWAT team jump come down from helicopters and just take them all out <laughs> but then I'm like all the cities this is happening in the governments are super left wing democrat yeah and it's like meh. <laughs> I guess you kind of but do, do the people <laughs> your, living the people living in those cities are they possibly happy uh, I'm sure they're not but, but hopefully they'll change the way they vote at some point yeah <laughs> oh, God. It's, it's, what's happened twice now in chicago when the the mayors when the rioters came towards her house she's yeah. like oh we gotta yeah. shut this down i think it happened in seattle too yeah as yeah. soon as Chaz started coming to her house he's like no, no. i know hey we should write a good script there, there's a good antifa movie yeah so well you know something I, would you star in our antifa wouldn't movie wouldn't you movie like to, sure okay. wouldn't, wouldn't you like Thanks. to find out i wish somebody could go in there and go to each one of these cities with these antifa guys and and get them to talk individually okay hey do you have a job seriously <laughs> what do you do for yeah, what do you do what was your family life like no seriously, get in get in i'd love i'd love to find out 
what the average makeup is of these angry, angry people. Elementary are, school teachers. Yeah. <laughs> They're all <laughs> kindergarten teachers. <laughs> it's just, it's bizarre. It's just bizarre. Or uh, the, a anyway. lot of them probably work at like bubble tea shops, I'm mm. guessing. I would look at those guys in bubble tea shops like that guy's in Antifa. Oh, hello there. You must have just watched one of our videos. Thank you for doing that. I'm Ethan, and this is the Babylon Bee, obviously. And uh, click like. Just want to remind you. Subscribe. Hit the little bell, whatever that thing does. Comment. We read them all. Check out more of our, more of our videos because we make them for people like you.